Isn't I kind to allow you to live in my house? Aren't I gracious to grant you the use of my chair? Aren't I wonderful when I give you a dead mouse? Aren't I totally, totally beyond compare? And don't you admire the virtues you see in marvelous, lovely, magnificent, Meow, meow, wow, wow, meow, meow. I will carefully shed just selected dark hairs when I'm lying on all the white laundry you did. And the light hairs will go when I bother to layer on black velvet where they can't be brushed off or hid. They look so much better that way you'll agree. They'll remind you of more lovely, magnificent meow. Meow, wow, wow, meow, meow. If you try to insist that I live on dry food, I will either look thin and pathetic and sad, or I must just do something disgusting and rude, such as eat it and throw up all over your bed. Only chicken and liver and fish naturally are fit for the palate of marvelous meow. Meow, wow, wow, meow, meow. I really don't understand why you should look at anything else or have things in your hand. So I'll patiently lie on your papers or books to suggest that you treat me as my rank demands. You really should pet me if your hands are free. It's a privilege to fondle magnificent meow, meow, wow, wow, meow, meow. And just when you're maddest at something I've done, I'll go do something else that's so touching or sweet, that's so charming, adorable, silly or fun. It'll just knock the stocking clean off of your feet. You know you can't win, so why fight it, you see? You know you're a sucker for marvelous meow. Meow, wow, wow, meow, meow. You know you're a sucker for marvelous meow.